What is going on guys? Today I'd like to talk about all the rumors going around about Red Dead Redemption 3 already being in development. Now I would take all these rumors with a grain of salt. I might be completely wrong. They may be already developing this game. But there's a lot of things pointing to the reason of why these rumors have started and probably not really a game being in development just yet. The main reason this has been kind of mentioned is one of the lead program designers, one of the lead programmers at Rockstar has mentioned that the game is in development. And I'm not sure if it came physically from you know them, if they actually told someone that, or most people are getting this from their profile. Their profile a kind of description says two years experience, uh, two years experience leading vehicle AI team through the development of RDR3 and other projects. Now the RDR3 tag was used. We found this out uh, a while back, a few years ago. That was used as a code for things within Red Dead Redemption 2. So this could be referring to working on things within Red Dead Redemption 2. We're talking about lead, uh, the lead vehicle AI team. I'm assuming they're talking about the, the wagons, horses, that kind of thing. They also may be working on stuff for GTA. I'm not exactly sure on that. But of course, it does reference to RDR3. So a lot of people think, oh, Red Dead Redemption 3 is already into two years of development. That may not necessarily be the case because, as we know, like I said years ago, this code was found within some of the data miners, you know, information that RDR3 was mentioned. And a lot of those things that were mentioned about RDR3 were things for Red Dead Redemption 2. I know that sounds kind of weird. That's just how it is. Uh, that's kind of how their code names worked. Now, does this mean that they're using some things within those files from Red Dead Redemption 2 to make another game? Or are they going to make a prequel, a sequel? That might be the case. This game could have already been in development. They could have been making Red Dead Redemption 2 and decided to go ahead and start working on RDR 3, Red Dead Redemption 3, as soon as Red Dead 2 was released. Another reason I think a lot of people are getting really excited about this and, and thinking that it is true is because the Take-Two CEO, of course, the Take-Two is the owner of Rockstar, you know, kind of that parent company, uh, a few months back said that Red Dead was going to be a permanent fixture in their franchise release schedule which was a kind of a change of tune compared to some of the Rockstar devs when they were asked about making another Red Dead game. They said they wanted to, but they weren't sure exactly if they were going to anytime soon. So I think between people seeing this RDR3 title within one of the developers' profile and, of course, the Take-Two CEO saying this uh, that this game's going to be a permanent fixture in their schedule, I think this has led a lot of people to believe that RDR3 is in development. And it could be. I don't think we'll see it anytime soon. My reasoning being is I've played all three of the games, Red Dead Revolver, Red Dead 1, Red Dead 2. And there was a five to seven year gap in between each game before they were released. Also, GTA makes Rockstar tons of money. We all know the rumors swirling around out there about GTA 6. The reason that it has not been, you know, kind of mentioned of when it's going to come out yet is because the development phase is kind of bad right now. The, the game is not really where it needs to be. and They're having to redo a lot of stuff. So I would be really shocked if they are developing Red Dead Redemption 3 at the same time uh, they're developing GTA 6. GTA makes all the money. We all know that. Um, I'm really hoping in the future since the Take-Two CEO has kind of recognized Red Dead as something they want to do is on a normal schedule. and Who knows what that normal schedule would be. They actually get a dedicated team that's dedicated to the story part of Red Dead and to the online part of Red Dead. That way we can get consistent DLC and updates for both the story and uh, for, the, of course, the online mode. Right now, most people buy the game for the story, which is perfectly fine. The story is definitely worth the money, but a lot of us would like to see better things brought to the online mode as well. I think there's a big enough community there to pretty much keep uh, you know that online uh, community going all the time if there was enough content available for us. Anyway, leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know if you think these rumors are true or not, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.